All right, so I'm going to talk to you today about whey protein, and there have been consumer reports finding that a lot of whey protein supplements, most of them actually, are contaminated with heavy metals like arsenic and lead. So uh, being such a common thing, this is a really, really uh, a disaster for your health, especially if you're consuming a lot of whey protein. And I know a lot of people that are fitness-minded and health-minded tend to uh, steer toward whey protein in order to uh, fulfill their extra protein requir requirements because of the convenience, right? Uh, it's convenient to have a protein supplement and get that extra 20 grams here, 20 grams there of protein that you need. Uh, but if you're consuming contaminated whey protein like this, and they even found like some of the ones that, that I know are extremely common and popular, like Optimum Nutrition, uh, Gold Standard Whey, uh, was considered it was contaminated with arsenic and lead, right? So <clears throat> that's not good for your body. Those heavy metals are going to wreak havoc on your on your health. Uh, and to make things even worse, a lot of whey protein supplements are full of polyunsaturated fats. For some reason, uh, these companies are adding things like sunflower oil to their whey protein supplements, which is really strange. But um, PUFAs, I've talked a lot about them in the past on my YouTube channel and that sort of thing. So they are terrible for your health. They're terrible for your thyroid. They're terrible for your, your reproductive health and uh, lower your testosterone. And this is not something that you want to be doing. So today I wanted to show you. So I, I consider collagen protein to be a better, a much better alternative to whey. Uh, the, the amino acid makeup in collagen is far superior uh, it, it supports, um, it's a lot of basically anti-stress and protective amino acids that are going to support a lot of areas of your body that are typically underserved because a lot of us don't consume in our diets uh, a lot of collagen-rich um, foods, right? So people used to, you know, make stocks of, of carcasses of, of uh, um, animals and that sort of thing where you get the cartilage, the, the all the joints, the certain tissue and that sort of thing in there. And uh, you'd get the collagen naturally in those sorts of stock or broths. Uh, but most people don't consume that stuff anymore. And they, they tend to stick to consuming muscle meat. And uh, it's the amino acid profile of this muscle meat does not have these amino acids in it, or not in high, high concentrations enough to get your, your uh, requirements for the day. So I, I think that uh, having a really good collagen protein supplement that's been tested uh, for heavy metals like our, our uh, zoo collagen at umzoo.com is a better alternative to whey protein. It's not contaminated with any heavy metals. It's got the right amino acid profile that you need to really support your longevity and your health, your, uh, your skin, your, your joints, um, your muscle mass. Actually, there's uh, in high doses of glycine, uh, it was, it's been found in research to boost growth hormone production, which is really cool. And then, uh, collagen also gets to work on improving your gut health as opposed to whey protein, uh, making your gut health worse. We all know the people that, that, uh, consume a lot of whey protein and they have these, those whey farts, right? Like they, a lot of bodybuilder friends of mine, like they just freaking fart all the time. They stink. And it's because they're, they're consuming this whey protein that they're not being able to properly digest, right? So uh, collagen is actually going to help improve your gut lining, improve your digestion, and you're getting that, that uh, protein that you need on a daily basis from a good source. So if you want to check out our collagen protein, it's called Zoo Collagen. It's over at umzoo.com. I'll also put a link in the description so you can read reviews and learn more about it if you want. Uh, and hopefully learn something about a better alternative to whey which is collagen. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.